Good morning, my friends. We're doing a day today, and it's Monday. You'll probably see this today, and I am not a morning person. I can be if I need to be or want to be. Like if it's summer and I want to go hiking, I'll wake up at 4.30, 5 o'clock. It doesn't happen too often, but, um, you know, do what I got to do. I make my own schedule. I work for myself, so there's really no reason for me to rush. It is 10.44 at the moment. I just finished my first cup of tea. I'll have another one a little bit later. In the morning, I mostly just, like, hang with my cats. Hi, buddy. And, you know, wake up. I will catch up on messages. I was just listening to a message from my friend Matthew. And I'll clear out my email, you know, delete whatever I need to. And, um, and then when I start to, like, hybrid watch YouTube and work, I know I'm probably ready for a shower. I cannot shower if I'm so tired. It, I don't like the jarringness of that. So I wake up fully before I take a shower. And I was just about to send an email from my business out about um, my guided meditation from yesterday and the video about the quilt for Sherry. So I'm sending that out today and I realized, oh, I'm ready for work. I'm ready for a shower. I do have some exciting things happening today. I actually have an interview, not for a podcast, but the Pride Center here was looking for wellness instructors. And I thought, hey, that would be really fun. I would love to teach intuitive art at the Pride Center. You know, Pride Center, like LGBTQIA plus uh, community is what they serve. And um, I'm a part of that community. And uh, yeah, so they got back to me and we're meeting up today to discuss. I'm really excited. They said that like intuitive art is exactly what they're looking for. So I'm so excited about that. I thought it would be a volunteer position but it's paid so wonderful and um, hopefully that'll go well I'm not really that nervous and I'm just only nervous because I just haven't had an interview in a while but I've taught I've teach <laughs> I have taught hundreds of classes long and short workshop style over a period of time so I'm not really worried about it and then I have a meeting with my sister later tonight who is also my editor and graphic designer and just my sister, my pal. So we meet every other Monday night to discuss projects, status, what we're doing, and our family, and like all that kind of stuff. I'm almost done with this book. This is Brent Spiner, who played Data from Star Trek Next Generation, which I love. That's probably like my favorite show of all time. I've seen it so many times through. And this is a mem noir. Like it's a fictional tale based on some of the things that happened to him like weird fan encounters and it's really good it's super fast it's funny I would highly recommend so if you're looking for something for a Star Trek fan that's a good gift I got this from the library but um Eric is gonna read it after me and he doesn't usually read stuff like this so I'm gonna continue watching <laughs> this vlog and I'll send that email I'm watching um, Michelle Wong and I'm lighting a candle and my cat is at my door. Well, that's for a video I'm filming today. Oh yeah, I also have to film a video. I'm also updating my pilot. I'm also doing all kinds of things. So, oh, that's not her food. So I got to go. Here's some various class designs for my interview today. And obviously meditation is important to me. So I wanted to be on my best, get rid of any of those nerves. So I just meditated for about five minutes before my call. I just had my interview with the Pride Center and it went really well. She loves intuitive art. She thinks it would fit in perfectly. And it's nice to be able to use my full pronouns and she, they, he, and be amongst another she, they. And she asked me, they asked me this question at the end of like, what does it mean to you to um, be able to work at the Pride Center? 
in a queer space and I just um I feel emotional about it like I'm excited and I already seem to attract people who are you know non-binary gender fluid trans and all all over the spectrum when it comes to like sexual identity and I I love that. I feel like it's an honor to be a safe space for people and to get them and to be able to work in a queer space. I've never done that before other than the one I've already created <laughs> and it feels really good and it it might not feel the same way for everybody because maybe what makes you unique in the world is something else. Like maybe if you're a woodworker and you went to go work in a community woodworking space, that would feel the same way to you. You know, like I don't think about this very often, my queerness, but it it's a part of me and I enjoy it. And I love acknowledging that in others. And so just to be able to like be an instructor in a place like this feels so wonderful. And um, and exciting. So I feel great. And now I just have to fill out two applications. Like one is kind of like, what is your class all about? What's the title? When do you want to do it? And the other one is just personal information for them. But she's like, yeah, she's really excited. And so am I. And my voice, I feel like my voice is even like a little shaky, which is so cute. <laughs> um, I don't know. It just feels good to put myself out there because I don't usually see opportunities and I I don't seek them out really I found this on Instagram so I guess I, I I follow them on Instagram though that's something and it's nice because they're doing a full day training in January they're doing monthly instructor meetings with a little bit of training and community building and I uh, volunteered in Phoenix for free arts for abused children and we had a similar thing we had um, like volunteer days where we'd get together and do a craft and hang out and then we had yearly trauma training which was really really wonderful when you're working with a community like like then it was underserved children you know their parents were homeless or um, drug addicted they were in foster care like um, it's nice to know how to relate to people in that situation because their brains are different, you know? So I think that's going to be the same here in different circumstances, different training, but that's exciting. I want to know more, you know, like I, uh, I don't have all the information. I don't know all the best things to say. I don't, I probably don't speak all inclusively all the time. Like, I want to grow too so this is a perfect and it's exciting and um yeah I'm like gonna cry it's so good <laughs> so good day so far Okay, new plan, as is usual. I went to the post office, came back. I don't feel like filming my van video. A, because it is uh, it kind of gloomy out, and if I can get the shots with it snowing, that is even better, because it's kind of like a Christmas-themed video. So I'm gonna wait. We're gonna have some snow this week, and I will bundle up and film it in the snow, and that'll be so fun. And as you'll see momentarily, I felt like painting. So, and eating these, cause these are delicious. They're called hip peas. So I'm going to paint these with paint and I'm going to dip them into some blue flaky glitter, two different kinds. 
So, I mean, I've had this bottle forever, like decades. It is so pretty. Not that you can see it. So pretty. Uh, so I'm going to create a little mixture of some wash and or gauche. I don't know how you say it. <laughs> or maybe these are actually watercolors. These are watercolors. That's easy. With this mixing medium, pouring medium, because I want it to be just uh, like a watercolory effect on these. I don't want it to be completely covered. And then I'll just dip it in the glitter. And I'm going to add this to my van video and then to my house. So that's what we're going to do. I'm also watching a vlog, actually the same one that you saw before. Sometimes it takes me a whole day to get through these because I just do whatever I want and I stop and I go. I'm still dunking. I figured I would chat with you. I mean, I think part of what is interesting about my life to me is that I have friends who have awesome conversations with me. And something came up today with my friend Matthew. We were talking about my idea of the higher self being just like that I'm, I believe I'm non-physical. And so my higher self is me. It's just a the bigger non-physical part of me. And he understood that he grew up in an evangelical household and they talk about your spirit and your soul and your body in that context. So he got where I was coming from, but he was talking about how a lot of people um, think that the body is just a vessel. It's like a separate part of you and it's like the home for your spirit. I was thinking about this and I was telling him that in my point of view, which again, I, I don't know what's right or wrong. I, I doubt I can comprehend this with my human brain, but what works for me, what feels right to me at this point is that my body is a projection of light from my non-physical self. It's like if you take a prism and put light through it. It gets refracted into different wavelengths which make color and I'm light. I'm I'm a non-physical light being but if you refract me then I can have part of that be in a physical body like right here but I also am present in other dimensions that aren't as dense so that's how I see it. I see, I see everything as connected and, but a lot of people don't. And, and a lot of people in like the spiritual community think that the body is just an organism and it's like a host and we enter it and then it dies and then our spirit is put back to where it belongs, you know? Um, so you know, I'm not saying I'm right or wrong. It's just what, what works for me, but I love that my life includes people that I get to have these cool conversations with and hear their point of view and um, yeah, it's really interesting. So I'm done with one container. I think I'll, I'll stop at the one container for now. I think it's gonna take a while to dry and they are becoming more watercolory as they dry because the paint in a lot of cases is slipping off like you can see how much paint there is on the plastic so we'll see what it turns out to be and maybe it'll be really ugly it's it's a little ugly <laughs> at the moment but that's okay I'm just gonna string them together and hang them up and I had to stop my plan of sprinkling the glitter because I got paint in the glitter and then it became painty and so I just put the glitter in the paint. Oh, 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 oh,
412 and at this point I am going to make a landing page, an opt-in page for my aligned income call in a couple weeks. And so people can start registering. It's a free call for like setting yourself up to um, be in alignment with and manifest the income that you want next year. So it's going to be really fun, really encouraging and wonderful. And I need to make a page. <laughs> so I'm inside my Squarespace site. And um, I think I'm just going to try to copy and paste an older page if I can find one and uh, make it as easy as I can for myself. Can I move my head? Wow, I can. Uh, let's see. Webinar. Perfect. Duplicate. So this is gonna be boring. I will spare you, but <laughs> this is what I'm up to now. Okay, we're back. I did the work. I made a landing. Let me just show you. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the Squarespace page that I just made with the information on it. Um, and then if you click register here, it goes to the part where you put in your information and I'll put in anything so you can see. Let's see, Rachel Persephone at gmail.com. Sign me up. And then it, I'll, I'll make this page prettier. Then I get an email that says you're signed up. Super fun. And that took about 30 minutes total for like, you know, doing all the copying and pasting and making the autoresponder that sends the email and making a new list, making a new landing page, setting this up, putting this new image in there. Because before it was um, a different background. So anyway, it's not that. I mean, if you think about it, setting up a whole entire webinar in under or about 30 minutes is pretty good. Um, oh, and I also had to make the event in my GoToMeeting, so not too bad. I'm actually, I'm impressed. And <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I'll go now. I have a meeting with my sister slash editor slash graphic designer in eight minutes. And um, I'm brain dead. So I think I'm going to read a couple pages in my book. And then I will have my meeting with her. And it will be very fun and wonderful. So I'll probably let you go here. You know, you don't really need to see that. We're just going to go over edits for a book and talk about our family and stuff like that. As you can see on my screen, this is a podcast I plan to listen to. I really like Lisa Fraley. I use her for my legal needs. Um, but she has a podcast episode about, like, money-saving year and tax tips. And since, between you and me, I'm really not happy with my bookkeepers this year. They just didn't work out. And bookkeepers aren't necessarily going to give you, they're not accountants, they're not going to give you tax tips, um, but I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point. They have nothing to do with each other, so I will let you go. I hope a day in the work life of Rachel Archelais was interesting, so yeah. Okay, <laughs> bye. Lots and lots of love.